all right all right i need to update okay update you guys i watched um hopelessly in love with biggie smalls and faith evans now i will say it was a little bit on the scandalous side i want to say it was a little bit on the scandalous side we all know about the Biggie Smalls and the Faith Evans. Of course, with a lot of stories, we're not going to know everything, the ins and outs, behind the scenes. Only the people that's involved know all of that. But, there was some greediness and griminess that was going on in the storyline. With the different parts of the story as far as... Now, stuff about her childhood, I didn't know about. Um, things about her mom... Um, how she had to stay with a uh, family, you know. Um, of course, the music thing was interesting to hear about. I didn't know, you know, the whole thing about her background, I was interested about. I didn't know about those things. Those were very interesting. Um, when she had her daughter, her first child, before she met Biggie. And then even when they spoke about how her and Biggie met, of course, we've heard this story. But just, you know, her little, her take on it, the relationship between Biggie and her first child, um, that was nice to hear. How they were um, becoming a family. And even to the point where she, the story that tripped me out was the one about when she went to the hotel. And, you know, Biggie was like, if somebody answers the phone. It's uh somebody's I got somebody using it or someone using my my room or whatever. He got a girl in there or something to that effect. Faith Evans was like, something's not right. She said something's not right. So she goes to the hotel. <laughs> she goes to the hotel, busts the door wide open, and beats the stank out of the girl that was in there. One of my favorite parts. <laughs> I was like, they said Faith, had, Faith Evans had them hands, and she did not play. Even when she was talking about how her and Biggie first met, and how she was looking at, she said she had just taken pictures of pictures with her daughter, and um, I guess it was the promo that uh, P Diddy was doing with his new artist, and uh, Biggie Small saw her there and liked what he saw. And she was going through her pictures of her and her little girl. And Biggie Smalls was like, well, who was that? You know. And, of course, there was no cell phones and stuff like that. So, you know, the, I think um, she said she was going to drop her friend off. And Biggie Smalls was like, you know, let me ride with you or whatever. And she dropped him off. And I think one of the last things he said to her is uh, I'm going to call you. She was like, you don't even have my phone number. But what she did know is that she had a phone number on top of the pictures. And he was checking them out. And ended up calling her. And she mentioned, she said she thought that was, you know, that was cute. That he, uh, that he did that. So. It was, it was like I said, the, the story about how they got together. The story, a little small things it was just really cute because i can remember growing up when you know big and small and her and got together it was like all you heard was they got married i remember well, like, they got married so quick and then you have the other scenario with the little kim situation i mean even people behind the scenes or who was there not just the faith and biggie said that little kim and biggie small had like a relationship they was you know in love or whatever they was together. And then he got married to somebody else. While they were doing what they were doing. That had to be a hard pill to swallow. As far as Lil' Kim. Because just like, I think it was Lil' Cease, I think his name, he was saying, you know, she was part of the, the package. She was part of the um, bad boy franchise. Uh, uh, you know, part of everything that they were doing. And she had to see this as far as Biggie Smalls marrying somebody else. You know? It had to have been a harsh situation. So 
That's why that's what I said. They showed the grimy side. You know, even I think Faith even put a pause on Lil Kim at one point in time. I think she said after she got pregnant, she said she was pregnant with Biggie Small's baby. She went in there and jacked, jacked up Lil Kim. I was like, dang. Faith Evans was a G. Okay. She was a G. And people, I think people had her fooled, uh, you know, growing up, when you heard the little girls talk about Faith Evans, it was something like Faith Evans ain't nothing and Lil' Kim was a, was a, you know, gangster. I can just remember being a kid, a young lady, and hearing the girls talk about them. And like I said, I'm sure Faith Evans did not want a lot of this stuff to come out the way it did, but Lifetime is going to make their money, they're going to make their coin, and they're going to make it look the way they want it to look. And even with the Tupac situation, I mean, hit him up. I remember that to this day because I was a kid at the time. Hit him up was a big thing. When that song came up, the first thing all of us kids said, oh man, Faith and Smash Big, I mean, uh, Smash Tupac. And they beefing. A lot of people actually did think that. They actually did think that because she smashed Tupac, it caused this war or whatever. I mean, this was allegedly. At the time, we all actually did think that. I mean, we really did think that. But, you know, it sounds like it was some uh, mess going on with that. You know, not necessarily that Faith did anything, but it was just the perception was made to look like that. You know? Just hearing Faith talk, be I, I can't imagine being a woman in this industry. Right. You go to a party, and, you know, and I'm I'm pretty sure Faith they was, was pissed off at the time, pissed off at Biggie. They were going through a bunch of stuff. And then to go to this party to make this song, to cut this track, you think you about to get paid. And then all of a sudden, Tupac says, oh, you got to, you know, polish my knob off before I give you any money. It's like, what? Man. And then she's there with a bunch of dudes. And it, she wasn't in no good spot. Like I said, she, she like all of us, but man, you know, you do some make mistake. You're young. You don't know what you're doing. In reality, you're just young and learning things. You know, she got her there safe, but everything had already started at that point as far as people saying that she messed with Tupac and everything like that. I'm pretty sure Faith didn't really like how that came about. Like I said, Lifetime is real good about, you know, getting their coin and making things look a certain type of way. We already know that about Lifetime, Lifetime documentaries and shows and stuff like that. Lifetime is just about to mess this YouTube. Just being real. So. Faith Evans went through a whole lot. Um, she did. With uh, Biggie. He put it through a lot. He really did. But it just. Listening to her and watching the series. She loved her some Biggie Smalls. Okay. She did. Um, they had a beautiful little boy together. And it seemed like even her daughter loved him. And it was really tragic and sad. We lost a, we lost somebody from hip-hop that was very, very important to our, our music, our genre, our culture. And that's unfortunate because Biggie Small was so talented. But... It really did seem like they had this really big love. And, and you know, I like how she described when they first met. It was like they was two teenagers, you know. Um, and then she said it, it seemed like it was wrong, but it, it was right. You know, they first met. They clicked. It just sparked. They just... It seemed like it was hot and it was popping. And they was young and it was part of this new uh, uh, music. Part of this, you know, they just had it going on. But like I said, stuff happens. You have a young man who has all this money, women in his face all the time. I'm not saying this is an excuse because it's not. But 
who them women wanted Biggie Smalls. That's just what it was. The women wanted Biggie Smalls. They wanted everybody that was a part of that whole bad boy situation. You know. So, um, this hopelessly in love because I did a live review of the left eye version, but this hopelessly in love with Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans was grimy and I felt a little juicy because like I said there were some things I knew about because I grew up in that time period and there were some things I did not know about because she, I felt like she was just speaking her truth she was speaking how she felt about everything and you know she was just telling little small things here and there and uh, it made me feel like as far as the story I don't know. I ain't gonna say it made me feel like it was genuine or made me feel like I was there, but it put a, 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 a new swing, I wanna say, a new flavor, I guess I could say, on stories that I had heard many times before. Because like I said, there was some some stuff, like I said, some stuff that we didn't that we didn't know about. Well I didn't know about. Maybe it was some people who followed the story did. The Tupac thing was crazy. I will say that the whole Tupac situation was insane. 